name is Obichi Gozi and I'm an artist. Um, let me say a painter, so like painting is my specialization here. Yeah. Um, I'm mostly a figurative painter, so I do uh, mostly figures and portraits. That's uh, where I'm based, where I specialize in anyway. Um, so, yeah. When I was about to get into school, I didn't even like, think about it. It was just, I was supposed to get in. So I wrote, uh, I put in for pussy team, but I didn't get in. So the year I was at home, I started drawing. So I never like took it as a serious thing because I thought my parents wouldn't let me. But then my aunt saw my drawing and she was like, okay, why don't you study arts instead? And you know, I was like, I just never pushed for it and stuff. So I'm pushing for it with my parents. They didn't actually put up too much of a fight. And I just found myself like in art, basically. So it wasn't, it just happened. Like, I think it was a thing of luck, maybe. Yeah. Um, well, I went for IT last year at Universal Studios of Arts. So um, I was supervised by Mr. Wallace Edjo. He's like my, he's basically his, his painting, I think his painting style reflects in mine. And um, so I tried to paint like him, not paint like him, I tried to take things from his style and develop it into my own style, but at the same time I'm still trying to like develop my own style. I don't think I have one yet. It's more of like um, when people see my work, they're like, <coughs> okay, yeah, it looks like this guy's work and it looks like this guy's work, but I don't think I have a style yet. They're like, okay, this is Chico's work without any person's influence. So it's also like a battle and you know a whole learning process, you know, experimenting with different forms and trying out different uh, things to develop, which I can use to develop my own style. My works. Um, there are so many, I have like a list of things I've written that I want to um, work on. One of those is, uh, I want to work on a social media series. Um, I think in this age we're so consumed by the social media and people people are so unreal to themselves so the series is going to explore um, I think I don't really have the idea I guess but it's going to explore people let's say in their own space like when you come back from when you come back from work and you come into your room when you're looking at yourself in the mirror what you truly see what you want to be how you see okay I want to be like this person why can't I be like this person what do I have to do to be like this person or, okay I have to dress this certain way to look like this on Instagram but in real life I don't actually look like that so I think it's something we really need to look into people need to be more um, at peace with themselves I mean it's not I mean last last even some people when they post some things on Instagram and they know they don't really look I'm like you know you're actually going to meet people in real life right so it's like all these kind of things we really need to explore and I think I want to show people that it's okay to be yourselves. You don't have to conform to anything, you know, the society makes you think you have to conform to. It's fine to you know, have self-acceptance and things like that. So it's all, um, the series I'm working on for, like, currently though, is um, Fellas Queens. So celebration is coming up and I think most of this time, like people, they focus on fella, 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 just like him. So I want to do a series on his wives, because I don't think people really, I mean, they know them, but they don't really like know them. So it's going to take a lot of research, and I also like love the idea of painting. Their make, their makeup is so like, oh, you know, you have the blue on their eyes, and you have the red on their cheeks, and you have the greens on the everything. So that's um, something I want to explore also. Um, a bunch of other stuff is in your way. I have the red scarf exploring the hijabs of the north. Um, I've done the nails, so I'll be delving into the female parts of the hijab. You know, what is really why they actually do tag their hijabs. Probably interview some of them, how they feel. Like, do they actually want to wear, you know, their hijabs and go out? Why they have to cover up their faces? Why the men can go in caps and, you know, show their faces and why the women can't? You know, different things like that, so it's all coming for you guys in the next years. This is, this work is, it's like a test run for, the title is the Nigerian Men. 
So it's like, this is like a smaller test run, it's going to be on bigger sizes of cameras, probably 3x3 three three feet and so So um, this is going to be exploring the intricacies of the Nigerian man. So definitely, we have the stereotypes of being Nigerian. What kind of is it Yeah. So we have the, um, we have the stereotypes of being Nigerian. And you know, the there are some for women, you know, women are supposed to be in the house to cook and you know take care of the kids, women can't work, women can't blah 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 blah. So I'm going to delve into the male counterparts. Like as a male, there are things that um they make so they make the rule in Nigeria, like you can't cry. If you cry you're seen as a pant or you know, you know something like that or you you're supposed to be like the breadwinner is supposed to bring like all the money, you know, when your wife works and she's making more money, you're not successful and things like that. So I want to look into how males feel about that, how they relate to it, how they react to it. Um, the people I'm going to be painting are going to be interviewed and I'm going to ask them, how do you, you're growing up, how have you dealt with this, how have you, you know, how are you dealing with it, why do you think you should be this way, because I don't think I don't think the stereotype is right. Why shouldn't men cry? Why should a woman be afraid of making more money than a husband? Why should that even be an issue? Like, if as far as you both are bringing like money to the table and you're taking care of this thing, you're happy. I mean, why is it like an issue? So it's things like that I'm going to explore in this series, but on the male side. Um, yeah, I have so many of them. Um, there's Mr. Ejo Wallace. He's like my yoga. Um, Edusa Obrigo, Ibi Ananaba, uh, Ajubiwi, there's just like a whole lot of them in Nigeria and then there are a whole lot abroad, I mean, but then I don't know their names, I mean, apart from Instagram and stuff, I don't know their actual names, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not really like, when people ask me for my, I'm not really like into all this, like, I am, but not like all this Claude Monet, Leonardo Da Vinci, I mean, I, not like their stars, but I mean, what people are doing now, it's like the main thing for me, so yeah, let me not just bullshit me and be like, you know, I'm Da Vinci, Romane, Castle, Yeah, before I started painting, well, well it, it's okay, I put my palettes, press out all my paints, um, music. Music is like a big thing for me. I have my speaker, so I'm always like, you know, I have to be in that mood. Well, I can't paint without music, but you know, I'd like to paint with music. And then I just start painting. I mean, sometimes there isn't even enough time to like, do any rituals. It just, it just comes to you and you're just like, okay, I have to like, put this down and just <laughs> before anything else. You don't think about anything else. So, yeah, that's it basically. I'm wondering, is there like any specific kind of music? Nah, I'm like, you know, my playlist is always like show food. I don't have like a, I don't have like a painting playlist, a sleeping playlist. I don't have a playlist. So it's like Nigerian music now. Then you know we have London Grammar next, and then we have, uh, you know, the cross or whatever is all next. So it's just the show food. So it's like okay, you're still you're meditating now. And you're like okay, rap, okay, and then you know. Nigeria and something I do like the shocky and so it's just like anything. Yeah, um my career just launched this year. Let me say that. Because last year, I mean last year I wasn't my works were like so bad, like terribly bad. So um when I finished I basically learned how to paint during my IT um session. So this year I got I was part of the student executors at the Echo Art Expo. And I got to, like, I gave a speech like, um, at the event and I was you know, in front of the government and everything. So, I mean, I don't think he even met me about my work while I was saying Shabu. Like, I mean, just having that moment, like, there speaking in front of people and having my work exhibited at the event, it was, like, so great. Because, I mean, as of last year, I didn't even think I would have, like, an opportunity like that. So, that has definitely been the most. Uh, yeah, as a fellow young artist, I think basically just do what you love. I mean, not even just about like art right now. It's about I know the pressures of being you know in the university and you know having parents that want you to be a lawyer, or a doctor, or 
I feel like you just go for what you want because I mean I was meant to go for mask on and I think that would have been so terrible for me because I would have been miserable. Because right now I can't see myself doing anything other than art and it's what makes me happy. So I think you should just go with what makes you happy in life. You don't try to think about the consequences too much. Think about focus on okay where do you want to be, how do you want to see, where you want to see yourself in the next uh, years. And also for females out there, I know that, but like we have a lot of female artists, but we don't have a lot of female artists. Let's say in like what I do. We have like the abstract females, we have the um, contemporary art females. I don't think we have a lot of females doing like forms and bodies like I don't know if you get what I mean. Mm. So we mostly have like males in the Nigerian sector. So for females out there that are doing this, I want I'm I'm like a female advocate. I'm doing this also to show people that you know females that you can do this, you can be it's not just like this business is not just like a male dominated business. I want females to not get sidetracked by you know marriage or when they marry some good person like you no, know, you can't focus on your career anymore, you have to take care of the kids. Like we're not in that century anymore, we're not in that generation anymore. So you know females have to come out, um, be be bold and be, do what you want to do, like you know, don't let anybody just put you in a cage or anything. So you can I want I want art to just become like I, I don't want us to have like female artists anymore. I just want us to all be artists like in Nigeria. I don't think we have that in Nigeria and it's such a problem. So, you know, even when men like sexualize you and you know they want you just for your number or whatever, like don't let it kill your vibe for art. Because I know a lot of people that be like, man, I can't do this anymore. I just think maybe I should do something else or something like that. So I don't I want us to like fight and get past all that, you know. And for the males like to, you know, see like look at women let them be more than ah, she has breast or she has no more like okay let me buy her art and then she'll talk to me or you know it has to be more than that like it's a business and it's a serious thing for people so you know like the males too should you know be more serious about it in terms of like female um, painters and stuff like that so yeah that's why it's I'm not sure you're 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 not s